Alright guys, this is a real quick tutorial on how to use the Jiktari Battle Calculator for Might and Magic Heroes Kingdoms. Um, the Battle Calculator is a tool used to optimize the output of your fights. Um, I'm going to show you how to use it and I'll show you how it can benefit you. So, here's my kingdom currently. Uh, as you see, I have a hero selected here. He is a protector. Alright, he is level 13, and I have put all of this town's units uh, under this hero. Okay, now, I am going to select a zone to combat. Now what most people are doing here, you can see I've already set them up so that they have advantages over the units that they're fighting. They'll. Uh, some people will go through here and set the equals so that they can balance out the fight and minimize their losses. And here we see I've reduced the number of griffins. And then they'll stick the rest of these things up here and click fight. Well, yes, you can do that and you will win. Um, but the purpose of the uh, calculator is to get a better outcome from this fight. Alright, I'll show you how that works. Now, <coughs> um, Actually, for the purpose of this, we'll, we'll give an example. Let's say I had clicked fight here, okay? I'm going to use another tool. This is the uh, HOMMK user script. Now, this will only work if you have in, er, Chrome or uh, uh, Firefox. Um, if you're using Internet Explorer, you can't use this tool. But I'm not going to get into this tool. I'm going to get into this one. This is the Jektari Fight Simulator, and before we get into the complexities of how to use this thing, uh, I am just going to show you what the outcome would have had been had I clicked Fight. All right, This here shows I would have received roughly 959 experience. I'd have lost a Paladin, and 959 experience. Okay? That's the gist of that. Now, to actually look at the fight and what had happened, this is what the report would have looked like. You'd see my cavalier, or my uh, paladin, fought here, won, lost, and then the priest decimated everything that remained. And really, there was no reason to even put the Inquisitor or the Griffin in the fight. Okay? So, this is the reason for uh, using this calculator. Let me show you how it works. I can do better than what this would have done. So, just for show, I'll put all the units back into underneath my hero. We'll stick with this same fight. We're not going to use this tool, although I do suggest that you do use it. It makes this a lot simpler, um, as you'll understand as we go along. I now have all my units here, and I have the opposing side, okay? First things first, the hero. Uh, he's level 13, and he's a protector. Now, there's a lot more that you could put in here, but these are the two things you want to be most concerned about, his level and his class, okay? We'll go back here, and uh, we'll start out with a blank fight screen. And first thing, starting from the top, fighters, attacker. That's me. All right, I'm using a hero. All right, I'm not just a player. I'm using a hero. So we'll select hero. We will select the level and the archetype. Protector, right? Level 14. No, level 13. Protector. Okay. Now, for a protector, because we're attacking, an attack of zero is going to have no little to no impact on the actual battle itself in this situation, but it is useful to do this because if you're using a mercenary or any other uh, archetype that has a attack score, it will affect the outcome of the fight. So put your level, put your archetype in up here. <coughs> now, the units. Alright, the enemy unit has a mage, an iron golem, this Rakasha, Raha, Raja, and an Archmage. So we'll plug those in there. Now, I 
forgot what the second one was, so I put the other three in. See these little up and down arrows? You can shift what position they're in. So I've created an empty position for that second one, Iron Golem. Okay, Mage, Iron Golem, Rakasha, Rani, and Archmage. No, Rakasha, Raja, wrong one. Let's fix that. There. That looks right. Now, how many? 6, 13, 1, and 2. These plus and minus arrows here, this will increase by 1, 10, 100. Click there, goes up 100. Then this side does minus 100, 10, and 1. So, we'll just increase the value until we get the numbers. 6, 13, 1, and 2. Six, thirteen, one, and 2, in this order. Alright, there's the opposing army. Now, we'll put my stuff in. Paladin, Priest, Inquisitor, Griffin. Now they're color-coded, so everything should be grouped up once you identify what color you need. Oh, that's wrong. Griffin. <coughs> Conscript and Angel. All right. And the numbers one, two, one, fifty two. One. Now you see that started popping up because now they would actually fight before we had nothing in there. One, two, one, fifty, two. You'll notice this changes as I'm increasing these numbers because the amount, the number of troops you send into a fight that exceed the number of troops you really needed to win the fight will alter the uh, outcome of, or the. Uh, the rating of the fight, medium, average, outstanding, etc. On to 1, 52, 15, 1. Alright, 1, 2, 1, 52, 15, 1, correct? Yes. Alright. Now if I had spells, I could plug them in there. Um, I do not. So we're not going to worry about spells. You could, say you had, uh, let's say, oh, hold on, uh, choose the correct faction so you get the right spell lists. I'm Haven, so say I had Sickness. There, I cast Sickness. Um, let's cover that for a second. I cast Sickness here. Sickness does, uh, the way it calculates the damage, there's, if you read into it, you'll understand it, but essentially for the purposes of this tutorial, understand that if there isn't a really big stack of stuff here, like if this was, uh, it's 13 now, say it's 113. Hey look, all of a sudden it did damage. I drop it back down to 13, nothing. There's got to be a large stack for this spell to have an effect, okay? Um, anyway, so I cast Sickness. I said, do it on round one. There you go, you see it on round one. I set it to four, it goes down there. All right, that's how you plug that number in. But I don't have sickness, so we're not going to do that. All right, so here, this look familiar? Yeah. Uh, Paladin fights the first time, loses against uh, the Iron Golem, and the priest picks up and destroys everything else. And again, waste, 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 waste. And I end up with 197 experience. Okay, so first, rather, let's uh, put in, well, anyways, no, I need that. The first thing that you're going to look at here is you see that I lost a paladin here. I had an excessive number of priests, um, and all the rest of this stuff was a waste. So let's start playing with this. Let's see... Uh, what I could potentially use to clear this uh, fight and get a better output. 
All right. Um, so we'll just monkey around with this for a second and see what happens. Conscripts. Yeah, they got overrun. They didn't kill a single one of them and blew me entirely away. This tends to happen when you have a low number of a, a low power unit. Now here, they could in fact take out the uh, remainder of these three iron golems, which probably isn't very useful. Um, and then they kind of get destroyed. Uh, here's an Inquisitor. You can see that he pretty much, just one Inquis Inquisitor did the same as two priests. Um, but the idea here is to try to find a way to get through this fight entirely without taking little losses and losing as few units as possible. Now, lo and behold, my one angel, my one angel, according to this calculator now, can completely obliterate this entire army. you notice I to suffer no losses, and all the rest of this is wasted. Of course, the experience still shows 197. How do we fix that? Start removing them. Hey, look. Outstanding victory. My uh, angel obliterated my opponent. No losses. And all of a sudden I got 1,620 experience. See? And uh, then all I have to do is go back to my fight and correct who I'm sending here. Now, say you wanted to monkey with that a little bit more, you could go back and alter it as uh, as you wish. Play with it. Um, maybe, uh, here, let's try this. Again, this tool. Much easier. This tool actually auto-populates all these fields for you, so you don't have to go through that. I highly suggest using it if you can. Um, let's say we didn't want to use our angel for this fight. Um, instead, we wanted to see, well, how many griffins would it take to do it? the same thing? And how many would I lose? Just keep adding and subtracting until I see a clean sweep. 14 griffins, I'd lose 3. Wipe it out. Look at the return. Uh, still not better than that paladin. Um, Try this again. Don't need that. Let's see. Let's say maybe an inquisitor and some griffins. Nah. And some priests. No. Anyway, you play with it. And you can easily identify after just a little bit of monkeying, which I think I did right off the bat. Go with the one angel. And there you go. Guaranteed outstanding victory and a hell of a lot more experience and honor. Alright, so thanks for watching. Hope you use it. See you in game.